Hello, I'm the Zombie J. It's been a while since y'all have seen me, I bet. So, um, last time I did a video was that stupid channel update. <sighs> yeah, so, things are coming, you know. Things will be changing for this channel, and yeah. So, I have a list for you, actually. So, um, it's my, uh, my favorite video games. I have five, because... Yeah. I don't play a whole lot of video games. I have a fuck ton of PS2 games and some PC games that I've been wanting to play and never got around to playing. Some games I have played on the PS2, like Medal of Honor Vanguard, never finished it. Medal of Honor Rising Sun, never finished it. Medal of Honor um, European Assault, never finished it. <laughs> I've been trying playing the original Call of Duty on the PC years ago, and well didn't go well. Um, yeah. So, these are the games that uh, resonate with me the most. So, some of these may be... Um, most of these are just Lego related games. So, that's pretty much it. I won't put uh, Lego Harry Potter um, on here, even though we still have the disc, but I don't think it's gonna work on my PC anymore. So, hey, whatever. So we'll start with number five, and this might be an un unpopular choice for some folks because people hate this game, uh, and I don't understand why. It's just absolutely ridiculous. Bionicle the Game for the PS2. Yes, I enjoy playing Bionicle the Game on the PS2 because the PC copy I had originally got for Christmas of, what, 20, 2003? 20 years ago? Holy fucking shit, this game is old. <laughs> Um, yeah, I tr couldn't get past o the boss in Onuwa's level, Onuwa's level, because fuck the motto, of course, <laughs> apparently, which, yeah, thanks, Argonaut. Um, this game, it was definitely a rush job. It was, it was pretty bad, um, but I, I, eventually I got a PS2 copy, and I've been playing that to oblivion. It's, it's actually quite fun, it's enjoyable, it's just... <sighs> the the criticism and the and the uh, the hatred for for this game and I don't understand why people hate it especially look at it, when you look back on it 20 years ago you thought well that was definitely a bad game what the crap nowadays it's like there's worse games nowadays guys look at fucking the lack the last of us part two or whatever <laughs> so uh, yeah um, Bionicle the game for PS2, incomplete, but hey, it's still, it's it, it, it's the best Argonaut could do, given their, the uh, uh, situations and whatnot. It was alright, it was pretty good, so. Lego Island 2, The Brickster's Revenge for the Game Boy Color, coming in at number 4. Yeah, <laughs> I actually got a Game Boy Color um, from my uncle, and... Uh, I originally had a Game Boy Color years ago, and I remember playing that specific game, and um, I remember the exact music from it. I posted it on my on my channel. Uh, you can check that out. Um, yeah, Lego Island 2 is definitely a fun Game Boy Color game. It's the only Game Boy Color game I remember playing. I still haven't beaten the game, but I enjoy it. I enjoy the nostalgia. I actually hunt down a uh, copy off of... Uh, eBay for a pretty decent price. It felt like a steal, honestly. But, um, yeah, I, I played that mostly for nostalgia because fuck. <laughs> it's just fun. I like the music. It's very 8 bitty and whatnot, and I enjoy it. So, um, I enjoy soundtracks in general, so. Um, but yeah. You want proof? Boom, this is a Game Boy Color, and the game is right there, so, yep, I think I should probably play some of that today, tonight, maybe tomorrow, I don't know, um, so, there you go, number three is Bionicle Matanui Online Game for the PC, a point and click uh, game that's probably the best PC Bionicle game ever, uh, the Bionicle game on the PC, the personal computer, you know, 
tower or whatnot. It's an episodic type of thing, I guess you could say. Like, um, obviously, it, it was developed by Templar, and uh, eventually the full game was released, you know, on, uh, I guess you could download it somewhere. Um, and uh, playing that just brings a lot of nostalgia. It brings me back to 2001, when times were somewhat better, <laughs> I guess. Um, and, you know, things were enjoyable for me because I was young. I was enjoying Bionicle as it was coming out, especially when it came out of McDonald's, and then getting the Toa Mata, and just, uh, yeah, that was, uh, the Mata Nui online game is probably the best Bionicle game of all time on the, um, on the PC, but, uh, it's an online game, although you could probably, there is an offline version you can download somewhere, um, but, uh, like Biomedia Project, for example. And, um, but yeah, Matsunui Online game, I just love it. I really do. It, it really is, like, the best Bionicle game, especially for 2001. It was when Flash was still a thing. So, uh, yeah. Number two, we got Bionicle Heroes for the GBA. Not for the PS2 or the Wii. I have the Wii version. Couldn't get, finish it because the Wii sucks. <laughs> Wii fans are gonna hate me for saying that, but let's face it, the Wii was kind of just, yeah. It's not good with with Bionicle Heroes, let's be honest. I have a PS2 version of that game, and I should really get on that, you know. I'll let y'all know how that goes. But, for the GB, the GBA, this is a GBA. It's a Sidiver, and the game that's in it right now, in fact, is Bionicle Heroes. You need proof? <coughs> Boom. So, this game is absolutely ass loads of fun out. Yeah. So, it's fun. Um, it, it's just so much fun. It's a top down, you know, uh, you sh uh, shoot em up game. You play as the Toa Mata, then the Toa Nuva. Uh, well, you start as Tahumata, then who was basically a Matoran who got turned, mutated, or whatnot, I don't know. It's a, it's not canon, it doesn't follow the canon, but it does, it, it is a fun game, uh, you blast a lot of enemies, bl destroy a lot of destructible environments or whatnot, and collect a lot of coins. It's basically, um, uh, it, it's just a lot of fun. That's all there is to it. A lot of fun. It's probably my favorite game on the Game Boy Color, or the Game Boy Advance, sorry. I don't think it's possible to backport it to the GBC. That would be stupid. I mean, really. Yeah, the uh, Bionicle Heroes for the GBA. I've played it so many fucking times now. I want to say i played it uh, on upwards to six times now. And in fact, I'm going to go... Yeah, I'm definitely going to play a seventh time. Yeah, that's how much I just fucking love the game. It's fun. And the final one, this is obvious. Medal of Honor Allied Assault. If you haven't been watching my uh, videos, uh, you know that, well, if you have been watching my videos, you would know that I have Medal of Honor Allied Assault related series. I still haven't done a review on this game, but here I can sum it up like this. It's a PC game. It has two expansion packs, Spearhead and Breakthrough, those are extensions, basically, of the main story, but with different characters, same timeline of World War II, and it's a first-person shooter uh, series, you know, Medal of Honor, Allied Assault is probably the best World War II first-person shooter of its era and of all time. You can't disagree with that. If you hate this game for whatever reason, you're dead to me. Allied Assault is the quintessential uh, first-person shooter of the early 2000s and is literally the best in the Medal of Honor uh, series, you know. It really is. It, it, set, the it set a benchmark uh, for uh, first-person shooters at even up to nowadays. Uh, but so many games tried to uh, capitalize on Allied Assault's success. Look at Call of Duty, the original Call of Duty. Uh, I still have it right here. Uh, yep. Um, yeah. <laughs> nice try. Uh, nice try, Infinity Ward, but your game is inferior. Um, although it 
it may look better to a degree, but hey, Alley to Salt is definitely... I got into this game because I watched my dad play it a little bit, and um, it's just an awesome, fun first-person shooter, and um, even, you know, there, there was a dedicated modding, uh, there, well, there was a dedicated mod um, community, and uh, people still play Alley to Salt, even when EA dropped the ball in 2014 and dropped support for uh, the servers and whatnot for the game so but um, uh, fans are still able to keep the game alive by keeping the servers alive by doing by getting around EA's stupidity so um, yeah you play as a uh, as a soldier in World War two and you go through six campaigns or six missions in the campaign first you gotta start with basic training that's kind of boring but hey it sets you up for what you're about to uh, witness there's been different uh, things regarding allied assault as well like like the main character uh, lieutenant Mike Powell has an action figure <laughs> a collectible action figure uh, the soundtrack is just awesome. Michael Giacchino is one hell of a composer. He is one of my favorite composers of all time, especially when it comes to the uh, symphonic scores. Frontline, which came out the same year, had a wonderful score. But there was only five tracks that were used, uh, that were composed, uh, five pieces that were recorded, uh, composed by Michael Giacchino. Um, and it was released online as basically an EP of five tracks. There is an extended uh, soundtrack of 17 tracks um, as a bonus CD to the deluxe edition box set of Alley to Salt. I need to get that at some point because collector's items because, yeah. Oh my god, Alley to Salt is so much fun. Multiplayer is so much fun. Uh, Free for all is one of my favorites. It's always fun. Uh, crazy server two is my favorite. Crazy, it's my favorite uh, uh, server. And uh, MLS Stoner server is also one of my favorites. And the expansion packs are great too. They reused music from the past uh, couple of games, Medal of Honor and Medal of Honor Underground. But hey. What can you do? <laughs> it still it still works. Oh my god. So yeah. Allied Assault really is uh, the quintessential uh, first person shooter of its of, of that generation of first person shooters. And um, I just fucking love it. <laughs> it really is the best World War II FPS out there. You're not gonna find anything remotely better than uh, Allied Assault. If you disagree, you're a moron, get out. So, yeah. Well, that is my list. I originally was going to write down a sixth uh, option, but I just realized that I still haven't bothered to finish fucking Bionicle uh, Minog 2, the Final Chronicle, because soft lock and whatnot. Um, I've played other games. Um, I thought I played a Spider Man game with Doppelganger uh, as, the, uh, as a villain. I swear I played that. I, I, I don't remember. That was ages ago. Fuck. But hey. Um, I do remember playing other games, you know. I, I, I have played most of, uh, well, almost half of uh, Tales of the Tohunga. I was going to put that on here, but I need to beat the game first. Um, playing that brings a bit of nostalgia, too, because it's the precursor to Minog. So that's cool. Um, some of y'all might ask me about Xbox games. I never played an Xbox game or Xbox 360. I have some Xbox 360 titles, I just don't have a 360 because they they brick. <laughs> uh, I have a PS2 and I've been experimenting with PS2 games and whatnot. Why did I put why did I not put SOCOM 2 US Navy SEALs on here? I haven't finished the game. <laughs> that's the thing. Uh, that's the SOCOM game, apparently, so... Um, and, of course, there are other games that I still haven't bothered to get, get, to, to get.
get uh, my hands on and play. And um, there was a Metroid game that I was starting to play uh, a number of years ago. It was Metroid Fusion on the uh, Game Boy Advance. And I think it was Metroid Fusion. Either it was Me Metroid Fusion or Metroid Prime. I don't fucking remember. It was the it was the Game Boy Advance game. And um, so far, I'm having fun with it. Um, also, Sonic Advance, Sonic the Hedgehog Advance 3, I think is what I have, and I <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing on that game. Uh, you may ask about Bionicle the Game GBA. I refuse. Um. And also, uh, Maze of Shadows, I never even tried it, honestly. Um, and, uh, Matured Adventure, I love the music for Matured Adventure, but that game has problems. And, um, there are other games, uh, obviously Medal of Honor, uh, what is it, Medal of Honor Underground for the GBA is just horrible. Don't play it. If you like the GBA version of Underground, what is wrong with you? Fuck off. That's a bad game. It really is. The, the original is fine. But I, I still need to play it at some point. I might have to emulate it because getting a place, an original PlayStation to work on my TV is going to be hell. And I don't want to go through that kind of hell, so I guess I'll have to go through an emulation. Ugh. But yeah, that is basically that. So stay tuned. I got some other kind of lists. I want to talk about movies at some point as well, as well as my favorite musical genres. I have quite a bit. Um, so, there you go. So yeah, stay tuned for more uh, videos. I got plenty of ideas. I'm going to be um, I'm thinking about uh, reviewing some Lego products that came out this these past couple of years, you know, I've got the four of the uh, Lego buildable action figure um, brick built system sets. I got Wolverine. I really want to review Wolverine, so stay tuned for that. And um, stay tuned for just a lot of things. You know, I'm wearing a white zombie shirt because I can. So. Stay tuned for more videos. I'm the Zombie JLC, folks. Have a good fucking day, and peace.